Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel! This is Mom Saibel Explains. This video is all about division of decimals by 10, 100, and 1000. We have an example here. Mom Ed Celine has 2 and 3 tenths kilograms of plant fertilizers. She plans to divide these equally to her 10 neighbors who have been asking her secrets in making her flowers and plants grow and bloom so fast. How many kilograms of fertilizer will each neighbor receive? Our given 2 and 3 tenths kilograms and 10 neighbors. Our division sentence is 2 and 3 tenths divided by 10 is equal to blank. 2 and 3 tenths is our dividend, 10 is our divisor, and the answer is the quotient. Our trick here is when a whole number or a decimal is divided by 10, 100, or 1000, the decimal point is moved 1, 2, and 3 places respectively to the left. We can follow that. Let's observe our divisor. It has 1, 0. That means we will move one decimal place to the left of our dividend. So that's going to be here. It means our answer for this question is 0 decimal point 2 3. It means each of the neighbors of Mom and Celine will receive 2300 kilograms of plant fertilizer. And we're done. What if? We will have this problem, 2 and 3 tenths divided by 100. Our divisor has two zeros. That would mean we will move two decimal places to the left of our dividend. That's going to be 1 and 2. Then we will place 0 on the empty space. And our decimal point will be here. That makes our answer 0 decimal point 0 2 3. Our answer is 23 thousandths. What if our question is 2 and 3 tenths divided by 1000? We have three zeros in our divisor. That's 1, 2, 3. That would mean we will move three decimal places to the left of our dividend. That's 1, 2, and 3. The empty spaces will be zeros and our decimal point will be here. Our answer is 0, decimal point, 0, 0, 2, and 3. Our final answer is 23 ten thousandths. And that's it. We have some exercises here. For the first one, we have 3 and 45 hundredths divided by 10. We have one zero in our divisor. That means we will move one decimal place in our dividend. That will give us zero decimal point three four five, and that is three hundred forty-five thousandths. Next, we have one hundred and two tenths divided by one hundred. We have two zeros in our divisor. It means we will also move two decimal places in our dividend. That will give us one decimal point zero zero two. That is one and two thousandths. For the last question, we have two thousand one hundred sixty four and eighty nine hundredths divided by one thousand. We have three zeros in our divisor. It means we will move three decimal places in our dividend. That will give us two decimal point one six four eight and nine, and that is two and sixteen thousand four hundred eighty nine hundred thousandths, and that's it. We're done. Don't forget to hit the like button if you think this is helpful. Till next time.